Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a nighttime skincare routine for you guys. I'm taking you through a step-by-step -step routine for nighttime purposes. You're gonna see me going through each and every product that I use at nighttime and the products that I recommend and the order of use. So it's gonna be quite informative, but then again, I'm gonna try and just get right to the point because I know you're not here for no waffling or anything like that. So don't worry, like I'll keep this short and sweet. So without further ado, let's jump right in to the video so the first thing I always start off by doing is cleansing my skin so I use this CeraVe smoothing cleanser it's got salicylic and hyaluronic acid in it so I recommend it for people that struggle with texture or like pore congestion or acne this is my go-to for when I'm struggling with like blackheads or whiteheads or anything like that if you guys didn't know salicylic acid is an exfoliant it exfoliates and gets rid of those whiteheads so how I do this is is I apply it onto dampened skin. Preferably, I'd be in front of my sink doing this. However, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to do it here because the lighting in the bathroom is ridiculous. So, um, this is how I do it. I just apply it into the palms of my hands, lather it up into my fingertips, and then rub it into my skin. So at this point, I'll let my skin air dry because this is just like the safest way for me to ensure that I'm not transferring bacteria from my towel to my face. Um, so I tend to just kind of like fan my face like this. So next up, I go in with some toner. So as this is a nighttime routine, it's safe to go in with the glycolic acid toner because as you guys may or may not know, this is for nighttime use only. This is a fantastic product for those that have hyperpigmentation. I'm sure if you've watched any of my previous videos, you have seen me rave about this product. For me, personally, I do kind of struggle with darkness around my mouth area. So this is what I go in with next. And I apply this using um, cotton pads. So you can use your hands or you can use cotton pads, but I prefer to use cotton pads because it's just easier sometimes. So what I tend to do is take the cotton pad and take the product and just apply it into the cotton pad so just like so and just apply it onto your skin So then what I do is I let my product sit onto my face for a good 10 minutes. This is because the product needs time to absorb for it to work effectively. So yeah, I just kind of like fan my face again and let it seep into my skin. So next up, it's time for serum. So I go in with this niacinamide serum here from The Ordinary. This, again, is a product I have used for years now. Um, it's very good, again, for pore congestion. At nighttime, my skin gets a little bit more oily. It's a little warmer during the nighttime, especially now that we're going towards summer. So this basically keeps my pores in good health and it controls my sebum production. And I do love to just 
tap it into my skin they do recommend actually patting it into your skin instead of like rubbing it all over the place like you just saw me do um but yeah so at the end that's when i pat it into my skin so yeah again this is kind of like the same process in terms of waiting a few minutes before you move on to your next step this again like the toner needs to absorb into your skin so serums toners anything else it just needs to absorb into your skin so next up i go in with some eye cream this is the caffeine eye cream from the inculus it is so important for me to use eye cream before i go to bed you guys because i wake up with the puffiest eyes ever and i do struggle with dark under eyes because sometimes i don't get enough sleep so um this caffeine eye cream is really really good it's from the inculus so i just apply it like so But again, I'm just gonna chillax for a bit whilst this absorbs into my skin. So next up is moisturizer. I go in with the CeraV Smoothing Cream. Now, I also use this on my body because it's so good for texture. Um, again, I will do a separate routine for summer because I don't tend to use this during the summer period. And the reason why I switch it out is because it's quite heavy. So um, in summer, I tend to use like a lighter moisturizer. But this one for now is, is great because it's nice and hydrating so i use this next So because this is a nighttime routine, I love to oil my skin. Oiling for me is just something that I love to do and I recommend doing it, you guys. It basically seals in the moisture and you wake up with like very glowy, radiant skin. And you can use any oil of your choice. I literally use any oils. Sometimes I use the rosehip seed oil from The Ordinary, but I ran out of that one months ago <laughs> i'm just talking about it because i highly recommend that one that one is very good or you can use any kind of like vitamin e oils if you struggle with pigmentation vitamin e is known to brighten so i'm actually using this blue jazzy oil from camper cosmetics i like it because it's quite hydrating um but like i said you can use any oil of your choice so Okay, so as you guys can see, I'm all greased up, I'm all oiled up. So the next thing you want to, well, the next thing I go in with is um, a lip balm. So I recently started liking lip balms with SPF in it. It just makes sense. Like, especially if you struggle with like pigmentation on your lips, um, it's a good way to basically keep that in check. Um, so I wear this day and night. This one's got vitamin E in it. It's the Palmer's Vitamin E and SPF 15 lip balm. It is really, really good and it's like very affordable and I absolutely have fallen in love with it um so I apply this as well so I do do this day and night you guys so
and that's it you guys that is my nighttime skincare routine all done these are the products that i use and i recommend using so this is the order that i use them in if there's any questions that you guys might have feel free to dm me on instagram my instagram handle is just michelle and also if you have any questions leave a comment here if you'd like um but that's it for my nighttime skincare routine thank you guys so much for watching and staying tuned till the end i appreciate each and every one of you um and thank you so much again for basically 60,000 subscribers that is crazy um i'm literally just so grateful thank you guys i will catch you on my next video